Hi, boys and girls. It's Friday, and we're about ready to finish our book on Jesus Heals the Sick. Two more stories. One is a story that we have talked about before at school. We like this story. So here we go. Jesus was walking along. He met a man who was blind. He can't see. The man sat on the ground and begged for money and food. Jesus' disciples asked him, was this man born blind because he sinned or because his parents sinned? Well, that's kind of a funny question, don't you think? And the other thing I think is kind of funny here is that the blind man isn't asking him to heal him so he can see he's asking for food. Wow, if you were blind and Jesus came along, I think you probably would ask to be healed to see. So maybe he doesn't know about Jesus how powerful he is. Let's see what happens. Well, Jesus is going to answer his friend's question. Is he blind because he sinned or did his parents sin? I don't know that somebody becomes blind because they sinned. I've not heard of that. Have you? Hmm, let's see what Jesus has to say. He is not blind because of sin. We were right. Jesus said he was born blind so that God's power could be shown in his life. God is going to use this man's blindness to show us how powerful he is. Ooh, that makes me think maybe he's going to see. Let's read on. Jesus spit on the ground. Let me read that again. <laughs> Jesus spit on the ground and made some mud. Well, dirt and spit would make mud, so he made some mud. He put the mud on the blind man's eyes. Go and wash in the pool of Shalom, Jesus said. Well, look at there. He covers his eyes completely. Hmm. Here he is at the pool. Looks like we have good results. The blind man did what Jesus told him to do. He washed off the mud and suddenly he could see. The people were surprised. How can you see, they asked. The man told everyone how Jesus had healed him and they were all amazed. Well, I'm amazed that spitting in dirt and putting it on his eyes is the way Jesus did that because he could have just said the word, you're healed. And I'm amazed that he did exactly what Jesus told him to do, because it seems a bit odd to me. But I'm sure glad he was obedient and followed what Jesus said because he was healed. We like that story, right? Okay, here's our last story. Let me open the book up so you can see it this way. Uh-huh, it's about the leper. As Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem, he met 10 men who were lepers. Remember, if you were a leper, you had leprosy, and that meant you had sores all over your body, and they oozed and pussed, and you had to wrap yourself up in bandages and go through the streets and say, unclean, unclean, because if people touched you, then they could become um, a leper too and have leprosy. It was very contagious. They shouted to Jesus, please help us, Jesus. Make us well. So all 10 men started shouting. Jesus said to them, go, go to the priests and show yourselves to them. Oh, he didn't spit this time. He just told them to go and see the priests at the temple as the men were walking to find the priests. So evidently they left Jesus and just said, well, let's go see the priests. If that's what he tells us to do, that's what we're going to do. Their sores, as they began to walk, began to get better. Soon the sores were all gone. The men were healed, all 10 of them. Wow. One man hurried back to Jesus, but the other men walked away. So they said, let's get to the priest. That's what he said to do. But this man, he didn't do that first. He was so grateful. 
he was more than happy. He went back to Jesus, bowed down before him and said, thank you, Lord. And Jesus said to him, go, your faith has made you well. Wow, Jesus is awesome. Jesus heals sick people because he is the son of God. Many people who saw or heard of his miracles began to believe in Jesus. Well, yeah, if you knew a man who was blind and now he can see, I think that would help you believe. And lepers who no longer have their sores, it's fantastic. We have a fantastic savior. Jesus, and he is able to heal. Yahoo! Well, thanks for listening, reading that book with me today. I hope you have a great day. Make good choices. I know you are. Love God, love each other, and I'll talk to you soon.